Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me tell you five easy changes you can do in your Outlook web app. I've already signed in. If I click on a message, if you notice the reading pane is over here to the right. Some people don't care for the reading pane, so I'm going to come right up here to Settings, Display Settings. I'm on Message List. Click on the reading pane. And I'm going to hide the reading pane. If you want to do it for your sent items also, you would check this box. But I only want to do it for the inbox, so click on OK. And I no longer have a reading pane. I'm going to turn it back on real quick. Display settings, reading pane. I could also put it at the bottom if you want to. The next feature is if I make a new email by clicking on New Mail on the top left, if you notice, one of my favorite fields, the blind carbon copy field, is not showing. Plus, I don't have a signature. So let's just discard this and go and turn those on. Back to Settings and all the way down to Options. When you come to Options, you're going to click on Settings over to the left. Here's your mail settings. It's already selected. So there's my signature, and always show blind carbon copy, BCC, click on save, hit the arrow to go back, Outlook Web will restart, you won't have to sign in, but let's test this, if I click new mail, there's my signature down below, there's my blind carbon copy field. If you're sending an email to people that do not know each other, they should be on the blind carbon copy list if they don't work at your organization. As an example, if I need to send an email out to 20 vendors, they all need to be on the BCC line. Another feature is if you want to know if your mailbox is getting full, I'm going to expand it and I'm going to expand favorites too. So that's just collapse and expand. So I'm going to go back up here to settings, go down to options. On the word account that I'm already on, it tells me that I have one gig and I'm using 1.3 meg. So I've got plenty of room. I'm going to go back. So you get one gig in your main inbox here, but in place archive you'll have 50 gigs and it's simply drag and drop to get something in here. So here's an example. This email right here regarding PowerPoint, I want to put it in this folder Chris Menard, I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it and now it's in that folder. And this holds 50 gigs, 1 gig. And the last thing to show you is if you come back here to options, I'm sorry, I'm on mail. If you click on the word people, and I'm not going to use this, but if you clicked on all users, you would see all users in your organization. It's your global address book. But I'm going to go back to the word mail. Hopefully that will help you get started with the Outlook web app. Thank you for your time.